Electing to have surgery is never an easy choice, but now South Florida has an option that lessens stress surrounding that decision and brings calm and confidence to your choice. I'm here at MIVIP with Dr. Razdan. Doctor, what are we talking about today? 29,000 men in the United States die of prostate cancer every year. Just imagine a Boeing 747 with 550 passengers, all men, crashing every day and all of them dying. That is the magnitude of the problem. So it's a, it's, this is a massive problem, but fortunately, uh, you have made a lot of innovation and you've pioneered a whole new way of handling this problem. Tell us about that. I think I have dedicated my life to just one disease and that's prostate cancer and trying to salvage as many men as possible and give them a quality of life that they do deserve. The moment a, a man is diagnosed, and a lot of these men are in the prime of their life, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, right. they're diagnosed with prostate cancer, it's, it's, it's like they see death in the face and they think, okay, this is it, this is, um, am I gonna make it or not? Right. The two main questions that are posed to anyone who's, uh, who's gonna be treating prostate cancer is, am I gonna be less of a man after this procedure? And the other is, uh, am I be, gonna be able to urinate normally? Or am right. I gonna be wearing diapers for the rest of, of my life? Right. Um, that being said, we went ahead and we, as you said, we were pioneers in this. We published the first text uh, right. on these two questions that are posed. Right. Urinary continence and sexual function after robotic radical prostatectomy. This book highlights what are the, the, the various techniques that have been used to, to give these men a semblance of uh, almost normal life, sans the prostate, right. um, and uh, be able to move on with their life. And that is what led us to pioneer a whole bunch of different techniques, which we have published uh, in right. peer-reviewed journals at this point. One of the techniques is maximal urethral length preservation, in which uh, we, we see to it that the, the patient after removal of the catheter and after the surgery, is, is able to void normally. He's able to, you know, go to the restroom and right. void without, you know, leaking uh, urine um, in inappropriate social situations. Right. And how does that in tandem with the robotics um, benefit the patient the most? These adjuncts that I'm talking about of the various techniques, the use of human right. amniotic membrane, uh, uh, they're, they're like a bomb, a healing bomb on what has already been done, a phenomenal procedure by your surgeon, and then these things add to a rapid recovery, rapid healing, and better outcome. Because ultimately you're trying to get the patient back to their regular life, feeling like themselves, and enjoying uh, their life. Absolutely, that, that is the take home message. That if you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, we talked about the magnitude of the disease. We also want to mention at this point that even though you have been afflicted by this, the magnitude of the disease is big, there is hope. Right. And with all these techniques that we have, we can almost assure you that you may and you will hopefully be back to your pre-surgical quality of life and go on with your routine. Of course, there are no guarantees of everything, but you guys are getting <laughs> as close, close as you possibly it. can get. As close as it can be. Well, here at MIVIP, you not only get the cutting edge technology with the robotics, but you also have the people pioneering the better quality of life for you so that you can get back to living your best life. So doctor, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me.